Howdy, friends and neighbors. We're coming at you live here in Pigeon Forge with Jackson Heights. This right here is Zach Wilburn. <laughs> if you know Aaron Wilburn, this guy right here, he is amazing. This kid knows everything there is. A... Hey. hey, and here's Alan Oatmeal. What's up? Facebook up? Live, Alan. Hey, man, what's going on? How long have we been knowing each other? Man, I don't even know if we want to go back that when I had dark hair, you had dark hair, and tell we them, both had more hair. Tell them about you. <laughs> tell them about you. Get in here, Scott White. I'm in. Hey, I'm t in. tell him, Alan, about you coming by Lincolnton, Georgia the other day. Well, I asked him that he knew I'd been to Lincolnton. He said, well, uh, when were you in Lincolnton? I said, well, I stopped by to see y'all, and Sherry was the only one home. And I thought, <laughs> that we that happen. Happen. Huh? <laughs> How'd that happen? Well, I waited till he left town. I yeah, said, well, just I'm lucky, say I hello to Sherry. No, that ain't true, y'all. That ain't true. <laughs> Sherry ain't never stepped out on her man. Alan, and if your wifey was here. Oh, she's here. Just don't need to watch this Facebook post. Don't watch Facebook no. live. I said the same thing about her, Bo. Your second wife, third wife, they don't matter. I'm telling you, every one of them. Hey, Scott. I've already Walker. asked him about his good looking wife. That's today. right, he did. Right on. Is she here with you, Scott? No, she's uh she's at home. She'll see us tomorrow night, though. Me and old Scott here used to work for the Singing Americans. Not That's at right. the same time, That's but right. we knew each other back in those days. But uh Charlie Burke. We used yep. to work for Charlie Burke. Uh, so we want everybody to come out control. tonight. It's big doings. It starts off with Chris. Chris Golden, where'd he go? Chris, are you? when you get through talking, come here. No, We're doing a Facebook place, Live. Please. We need to tell these folks to come see the Chris Golden Quartet oh, tonight. <laughs> There's four people inside That's that head right there. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're we're a bass. We're just one bass singer. That's all we are. We we're just, just one person away from a quartet that's right it. here. So Chris uh, is the son of William Lee with Oak Ridge Boys. And how long did you play drums with Oak? Seventeen years. Oh my word. Yeah. So what was your favorite song to play? This was that started the last one. The last one. <laughs> yes. And what would that be? <laughs> I guarantee it's Elvira. It kind of be. Bobby Sue. Bobby Sue. Oh, was that usually the last one? Yeah. I love it. No, man, I love them all. I love them all. But Chris has great uh, gospel uh, Christian country music, and he will be sharing. 7 o'clock, he'll be here. Y'all be right, here. Yes, and right after that, it'll be Jackson Heights. Then we'll do a little break, and then uh, Carolina. Going to Carolina in my Going mind. Right. And then Jeff and Sherry. Yes. They're, they're not a quartet. No. <laughs> I, got a few, I got a few people living in me, too. But yeah. anyway, we just want to say howdy, friends and neighbors. Howdy, and friends up and here neighbors. Y'all uh, get here. See y'all in a little bit. So let's talk to Sherry. Sherry, invite yes. people to come out here. We would love to have you guys come out and be with us. We are with old friends tonight. It's going to be a great evening. Right back, we love these boys with all of our heart. It's good to be together. Uh, um, Kent's end, talking right now. And together, his wife so and I were pen pals when we were teenagers. And I saw know them all before they even knew each other. And uh, Chris Golden, my family always worked with them. I told Chris a while ago, I said, yeah, I said, my parents never, Morgan, I mean, mama, Janice and them, they rarely talked about other people, other men, other groups. And I heard so many times how pretty Bill Golden was. How many times have you heard William him say Lee that? William Golden is good looking. How man. pretty Bill was. I love that. All right, Sherry's going to meet and greet some folks I'm going to meet and greet. I'm going to talk right here to Greg and Zach. So hey. I'm back here with Zach. Zach, that's Greg Fox, me and Greg back in the day, back in the 80s. Oh, shh. Sh I was with Gold City the first time I met him. Your yeah. dad, Eldridge yeah. Fox, yeah. produced the Gold City Quartet the Three for Tens. Yep, yeah, and then their first eleven number one songs. Wow, oh Eldridge, he did right there, right in uh, Asheville. Yep, yep. Now, see Zach, he's got my number. He's man. got your number, pal. He's got you wrote up. Do you know I had the first Jeff and Sherry number one song called Over and Over? Have you ever heard of it? Over and over again and again, I is faithful. <laughs> sing a little bit. Over and over. I've heard y'all sing it. But. Okay, so anyway, Aaron Wilburn here, his granddaddy, wrote a song called Dear Blessed Tail Lights. It's about these grandkids that, that gets on your nerves. And it's Dear Blessed Headlights at the beginning. And by the time the song is over, it's Dear Blessed Tail Lights. Because them kids were going away. Yep. And now I'm understanding why he wrote that song, Zach. Right there. Right there. You. Look at that hat he's got on. Yep. Roll Tide. That's all the hat for champions. Woo! <laughs> My brother Rabbit will love that. Yep. You, you, don't, hey, you don't know what a champion is. Well, all I know is Georgia beat Alabama, and this is my phone, and this is my time. So uh, good to see y'all, friends and neighbors. Alabama ain't here no more. But, Greg, good to see you, buddy. You too, pal. 
Y'all come out and be with us tonight. Let me go over here and talk to these boys. Here's our band. Bradley and Paul Rogers. Tonight's Paul's first night playing drums with Jeff and Sherry. Paul does a lot of recording sessions. I met him through a recording session he did for us in Lincoln. Bradley's been with us since October. Sir. And he got him a girlfriend. He kind of fell off the planet, but he floats up every now and then. About every weekend he'll show up, about time to pull the bus out. But no, he worked hard yesterday. Some of y'all watched him paint that dock. But look how good looking fellow that Bradley is right there. So, friend and neighbor. Come be with us tonight. It's going to be fun. See ya.